In today's video I'm going to talk about box wood from Glow Plants inside Lumion Pro 11.5. My name is Katerina Lagarde Welcome to another video from Garden Design Tools. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the boxwood plant model from Globe Plants inside Lumion 11.5 Pro. So, let me show you first the file of the plant I actually purchased. This is, I think it's, it's one of that staple plants. If you're working with Lumion, you already have some really good quality round shape uh, sphere uh, boxwood. Um, so, if it's just for that, uh, maybe not purchase it. But what we don't have is a nice boxwood edge um, in this rectangular shapes like you're seeing here in the preview um, image. Um, glow plants is really good. I like them. Uh, one of the criticisms often done in for um, regarding glow plants is that the purchase price is actually just one file, um, one type of file. Uh, other websites, you normally download all the files, all the types of files. So you have, you know, FBX and all the other um, Max3, whatever, you know, it's just um, all the other uh, files. In here, you need to select the file you actually want to download. So I always use FBX. Um, and right now it's in promo, so it's $19, 17 euros something, okay? Uh, and the quality is really good. So let me show you what you've got in the folder. So what you get is this uh, zip folder that you need to extract. So you have the FBX uh, models, okay? In here you have all this collection all together. And after here you have all the single uh, um, models okay so we are just gonna uh, I'm gonna gonna show you one of them in Lumion and of course uh, you have the the preview folder it doesn't matter right now but you have here the maps so this is the textures you're gonna actually add so the ones I'm selecting now they don't come with the folder by default this is a, a file already done in Photoshop and I'm gonna explain you in a little bit why so let's go to Lumion and this is my model I'm just going to put the quality a little bit down so it just doesn't um, it doesn't slow down too much in the video. So, you know, have that in consideration that the quality is a bit more down. So as you can see here, you have some already plants like boxwood lookalikes um, inside Lumion. And you have here in the fine detail nature, um, if you go here, you have this boxwood. And this is, you know, if you're just looking for a, a boxwood plant, I will definitely not go and buy it um, because I have this one and it works fine. But you're going to see the difference in a little bit. I'm going to actually leave this one on. Uh, and let's go and import our new one. Let's go here, downloads, FBX, we go to singles. Uh, and let's go and first do this one and we open. Okay, I'm going to add to my plant. So I have it always here for my future projects. Don't forget all this texture work we're going to do now. You only need to do it once. Being in Lumion, being in Twin Motion, whenever it is, you only need to do it once, okay? One thing I've noticed once I imported this file is that they are not to scale. The single files, okay, if we import the actual one that has all the models in one file, uh, it's to scale. If the single files is not to scale. And I've imported previously into InMotion and it's exactly the same thing. Not a problem, you know, very easy, you scale it down. So as you can see, this is what you've got by default in terms of textures, okay? Press shift in your keyboard if you want to go a little bit more slow or just here okay press shift and just come here regarding the size okay so this is what you've got in your normal um texture so what we're gonna need to go and do is actually paint the leaves so as you can see here if you over with the mouse you have um different leaf names three two one etc uh you don't have one actually you only have two three four and five i believe uh and what don't forget what you got in the maps is that basically this is for you to choose 
what type of if you want a more uniform green in terms of your boxwood like that default one you have from lumen library or if you want to give them something certain changes to the leaf color that i think it looks much more natural okay so this is basically what you're going to do we're going to choose and we still have the fourth one here uh, a lighter one so you have a darker green a slightly less darker green a lighter green and this really more uh, always almost going to brownish kind of leaf um what we're gonna do it's if you, if i actually add the texture the default texture that they sent i'm gonna go here and add the default one so this is the default one so i'm gonna add this one for you to see how it looks okay let's take the color out the glossy and the activity as you can see here you have a rectangular looking sh uh, shape leaf and this is not what you want so what we're gonna do is that you're actually going to photoshop you go to open the leaf the default one plus the opacity leaf okay so i already done uh, the opacity one so let me go just open the default uh, leaf lookalike so you have this leaf here in the background you're going to add a mask you come to the opacity map you drag it you drop on top of the um, the, the normal uh, leaf map uh, press ctrl a to select all ctrl c alt in your keyboard and over on top of the mask click on that mask layer okay and now ctrl v hide the opac the original opacity and you have this it's basically a cut out of the leaf and this is what you want and you save this as a png okay really important save it as a png so you have always that cut out so i already done for leaf number one number two and number three i'm not going to use the fourth one so don't forget again let's just go back i have other uh, videos on top of this i'm just going to do you one more time okay so you have here you add the mask that you have vector mask here that you have on this layer okay you go drag and drop the opacity mask on top make sure it's on top uh, of that one you press ctrl a in your keyboard ctrl c hover with the mouse to the mask press alt and click on that mask and in that mask you put a ctrl v hide the original opacity layer and you have the cutout okay and you do this for the number of the different leaf texture you're going to use so i'm going to use leaf number um one two and three i'm not going to use the fourth one in this case uh, but if you want you can do for the other ones okay so let's go here and grab now the png file that you've downloaded so as you can see straight away is looking more like a leaf okay so we go here you have the bump the relief so let me go here and have the glossiness and i've done a video on this in the in um, in uh, twin motion as well and i'm gonna add renderings in the end of this video and you can compare after how it looks in twin motion and in lumion if you want to put some glossiness and reflectivity please do okay so i think this this is okay for now um you know if you can play here around with the saturation sometimes it can be it looks a little bit too saturated maybe just go a little bit and you can don't forget you can play around with the color okay if you want to go slightly darker you can play around here and it goes slightly darker okay so you can you can play around and see how it looks some of these things you're only gonna see if you do the actual rendering okay so what i'm gonna do to just process a little bit more quicker i'm just gonna copy and go to another leaf and i'm gonna go and i'm gonna paste but in here i'm gonna take out and i put the next textured leaf okay so straight away you start seeing a little bit of difference in the greens so this is what you want again i go to the another one um, I'm ignoring the, the names of the leaves for now because it doesn't really match with the with the num with the leaves colors I want. So as you can see here, it looks good. I like these different textures, okay. And uh, for the fourth one, I'm gonna put like um, the first one we've done to be a bit more uh, green look like. 
uh, more a uniform uh, dark green uh, but you still have that variation of the other two leaves okay so what we need to do now is go to the trunk and the texture of the trunk of course and this you don't need to cut out okay let's go in here and you have here the bark okay let's go a little bit closer so don't forget take the colorization the glossiness and reflectivity it's always by default so you need to take it out play around a little bit with the relief okay i don't know if i have here some uh, i don't have here any uh, extra bump or something for the trunk but that's fine still works good let me go to the stems and do the same for the stems so let's go and grab the the, the texture okay don't forget again take the colorization glossiness and reflectivity i put a bit of glossiness in the leaves but not on the trunks or the stems or anything else okay um let me go here we have here something for the texture of the stem again this is something you're gonna see more once you do the actual rendering okay so and this looks pretty good let me go press ok i'm gonna do the renderings actually comparing both ones with the fine detail and with this one and you know to be honest i prefer this one uh, i would like to see a little bit more textured on the leaves let me check out if i can do something a bit more relief maybe and a bit more with the displacement okay but again this is things that you're gonna see when you actually do the rendering okay but this looks pretty good let's go and check out and import another one uh, i believe let me just go and see actually let me go here and see this which one is the straight one um okay maybe number five let's go and see number five import number five and we go to plants again sometimes this is happening in lumion right now that it doesn't normally when you import it it appears here in the model where you are in just to for you waiting for a placement but sometimes it doesn't so you need to go and drag again the scale it's it's off as you can see so but not a problem you can scale it down very easy okay um let's make it a little bit more straight but this is pretty cool and this is something we don't have in lumion okay um you have you can do other different kind of edges and stuff like this but not a box with straight edge like this so if you want to just speed things up a little bit sometimes what i do it's in, instead of going um you know copying everything uh from the beginning i just come here i go and drag and drop and copy and paste the 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 leaves from this model here okay um let me go in here again and copy that one but now i want to copy the lighter one and this is the lighter one copy and paste of course you could do all again in from the beginning but i just find it easier to do it like this let me go see here mm -mm. okay i want this one let me go and copy and now i'm just gonna add this one to the the all the other leaves i've got do i have other leaves maybe not maybe now it's just the stems yeah this one you can see much more the stem and uh, we go here copy the stem as well okay just a quicker way to do things don't forget you only need to do this once okay so next time you already have these plants in your library and you're good to go you don't have to do this all again okay so look at this it looks pretty cool I really like it I think it looks great okay so don't forget that all these imported plants are really heavy okay it's not the same as in default library it's a bit like the fine detail nature you've got going on in inside Lumion um, 
I'll add them all in a, in a separate layer so you can show and hide, especially if your project starts getting really, really big. Uh, but I'm just going to go and do a few renderings for you to check it out, um, comparing, and I'm going to um, put the, the, this, uh, the fine detail nature um, together with these ones, okay? So you can compare, plus I'm going to go and grab uh, the, the, this one as well that is in the normal default that looks like a box wood as well. So you can just see a little bit the difference, okay? They are much better. And that fact that you can choose the different textures of leaves, so you can have a lighter color and you can customize it. And if you want to go a bit brownish, you still have that fourth color, that fourth texture. So I'm pretty happy with this. I think um, right now you should take advantage if it's a staple plant in your project, um, especially the edges you have these taller ones. Um, rarely see a box wood this tall, but um, but yeah, it's possible. Um, but yeah, I think it's really good, uh, good, um, good promo uh, right now. If you want to take advantage, the link will be in the description of this video. Don't forget I've done uh, for the same plant a twin motion uh, video so this is uh, in the youtube channel as well if you want to check it out okay see you guys in the next one